The chairman of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has said that the sanction for the Tejas Mark II program has come and HAL will be able to roll out the first pre-production prototype in 2024. He also said that HAL is also a design partner in building prototypes in AMCA project and the stealth aircraft will be available in the next five to six years. The execution time frame of Tejas Mark I is starting from February 2024 and the company is confident that it will be able to deliver the first Tejas Mark 1A aircraft in February 2024. At a time when the indigenous AMCA project is in its last leg of securing approvals before entering the manufacturing stage, Russia's Rosbaron Export has said that it will demonstrate the export variant of its Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet at the Aero India 2023 air show in Bangalore, and India will be offered both the Su-57 and Su-75 fifth generation fighter jet platforms. While on the other hand, US firm Lockheed is sending its F-35 stealth aircraft for both static and flying display at the Aero India, that might be pitched to the Indian Air Force and also influence the Indian Navy's upcoming procurement of carrier-borne fighter jets for INS Vikrant. Russia will display its Olin-10 and Olin-30 drones at the Aero India 2023, that will also be offered to Indian Armed Forces. The Olin-10 is powered by a petrol engine, and it can carry a payload of 6 kg and has a maximum speed of 150 km per hour and endurance of 16 hours. It has a laser designator that allows it to pinpoint targets for precision-guided artillery and aircraft munition. The Olin-30 can carry 8 kg payload, and has a speed of 180 km per hour, and it can loiter for 5 hours at a distance of 300 km from the launch site. Swedish firm Saab Group has said that it will display the Gripenny at the Aero India 2023, and it has pitched its single-seater Gripenny and the two-seater Gripen F variant to the Indian Air Force under the 114 MRFA program. Saab is ready to provide a high level of customization on its Gripen fighters, and will allow India to easily integrate indigenous systems and weapons. Saab has said that the Indian Air Force might issue the request for proposal later this year, and that the company is offering true transfer of technology and a comprehensive industrial partnership to India. The Chiefs of Staff Committee have decided that the three armed services will be getting six Predator armed drones each, and a combined order for 18 drones will be placed with the General Atomics after getting formal approvals in April. The Indian Army and Indian Air Force were pushing for four drones each, but the Navy has managed to convince them to go ahead with the purchase of 18 drones at an estimated $1.8 billion. The Archer armed drone will conduct its first flight in June this year, and it can carry 300 kilograms of weaponry including smart anti-airfield weapon and anti-tank guided missiles. The Tapas Medium Altitude Long Endurance Drone will make a flying debut at the Aero India 2023, and real-time feed from the UAV will also be streamed throughout the venue. The Tapas is getting ready for formal user evaluation by the armed forces, after which it will start production by Hindustan Aeronautics and Bharat Electronics Limited. The ISRO has launched its newest and smallest rocket SSLV D2 into space, which has successfully placed three satellites into a 450 km circular orbit during its 15-minute flight. After the success of the mission, ISRO chief has said that India now has a new launch vehicle that is capable of launching mini micro or nano satellites of up to 500 kg mass into 500 km planar orbits. The three-stage SSLV is a low-cost and low-turn-around time vehicle, and launch on-demand feasibility with minimal launch infrastructure requirements.